Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Chris and this is Regular Guy Training. So, I've noticed, much like many of you, that ammo is a little bit more difficult to come by, especially with recent happenings and that kind of stuff. And I realize that if I'm not flexible with the student base, then I'm going to run into issues myself, right? So, here's the thought that I have and you guys tell me what you think of it. Uh, typically speaking, as far as class sets and that kind of thing, I run two sets of two-day classes. For instance, pistol one is two days and pistol two is two days, right? I usually run them back to back. And if you take both, it's 2,800 rounds. If you take one, meaning if you take pistol one, for instance, that's 1,400 rounds. Uh, I noticed that that is a tall order for a lot of guys right now, mostly because of just sourcing. Ammo is a little more expensive now. I recognize that, right? So, um, in keeping with being as adaptable as possible, um, instead of doing a two-day format classes, what would you guys think if I set up a set of two one-day classes? For instance, like we call it something like Modern Mechanical Pistol or Modern Mechanical Rifle, right? They're both one day apiece, and for instance, let's say that I set it up on a weekend, right? Yeah, Pistol and then Rifle. They're both one-day classes, they're both 700 rounds apiece, and you can sign up for either or. So that way, guys that have either never drawn from a, a holster before concealed or have got a lot of time on it, we can focus on a lot of different things uh, revolving around your mechanics. We can focus on a lot of things revolving around shooting well uh, with those particular pieces. For instance, if you have a dot and a light on a handgun and this is a fairly new thing to you, or if you just picked up a handgun and a holster and you want to set that up on a belt and go to a class and learn some stuff. What we can do is that we can spend that one day in 700 rounds really coaching those things as far as efficiently and mechanically getting those guns out, doing what we have to do, getting reloads in and that kind of stuff. Uh, just to kind of stay uh, within the realm of training, we can still teach things that we absolutely have to know because aside of like the tactical stuff that we need to know as far as what to do as far as one-handed shooting or particular circumstances that we're going to have to mental process, or solving stoppages or all of that stuff, we also have to have a set of skills to back those up. So, what would you guys think, like I said, if we took just a day and 700 rounds to work on mechanics as far as just shooting well and that kind of stuff, so we can keep training, we can keep doing classes and that kind of stuff, but it's not anywhere near as costly, right? Uh, so, as a for instance, right, each one day class would be like 180 bucks, right? And you can take one or both. And if you're on the Patreon deal doing $41 a month, you can still come out to those at your leisure and that kind of stuff. You know, uh, what would you guys think of doing that sort of thing? Because the way that I figure it is if we're not working on something, we're running stagnant. And if me as a company, if I'm not willing to flex and bend a little bit with how things are going, I'm going to start running into smaller and smaller and smaller class pools and that kind of stuff, right? So what would you guys think if I set that kind of thing up? Um, I personally believe that a lot could be done there because as far as, you know, just mechanical stuff, we can get tons of individual body mechanic stuff isolated down into packages. We can do a lot of shot timer stuff. We can do a lot of specific drills that force you to do a lot of those things at once that will test guys that have experience or we'll give brand new people a long list of stuff that they should work on in the first place. And we can also improve you on little things to start, like simply coming out of a holster or how we're gripping handguns, how we're indexing uh, dots and that kind of stuff, using pinky pressure, that kind of stuff. Just to see um, what it is that you guys think about that sort of format, uh, at least for like the next few months, so that we can help the industry catch up a little bit as far as ammunition production and that kind of stuff before we can open back up into the regular four day format. And I could also use this as, you know, like a prelude to a lot of different things. For instance, if I traveled someplace that I've never been before, I could use mechanical uh, pistol before pistol one, you know, so that we can get guys out there that have never done it before and that kind of stuff. And they can take it. And once they've taken it, then they can go on to, you know, our mainline fighting courses and that kind of stuff where there's still a lot of the mechanical efficiency stuff there, but it's all hooked into fighting mentality. You see what I'm saying as far as two-day courses go.
because those of you who have been to the two and the four day programs before, there's tons of mental processing, there's tons of footwork, there's tons of stoppage clearance, situational based stuff. There's a lot of individual things that we work on as far as working the mind behind the shooter. And with these one day classes, we can work on the shooting well part and we can get those mechanics down so that we can isolate those mechanics and become as efficient as possible. So you guys let me know what you think about that whole deal. Um, I'm, uh, I'm planning on possibly testing this out uh, fairly soon because like I said, uh, I'm planning out uh, my new fiscal year as far as training goes, uh, looking at the next five to six months worth of stuff that I'm gonna categorize from here going forward. But you guys let me know what you think. And remember, regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.